Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. So the Lions Gate is officially closed. But while it was open, we did receive a lot of clarity, right? Now, Mercury is also a retrograde, has been retrograde since August 4th, and will be retrograde until August 27th. So, more clarity. Let's see. Four swords, healing, understanding, awareness, acceptance, allowing, judgment, revaluing, reconsidering a situation, a connection, queen of wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy, the queen, of confidence, the queen of manifestation. Okay. Four of wands, our home, our inner and outer foundation. We are building ourselves up with the ace of swords, with truth. Yes, with honesty. We're true to ourselves, what we really want. What do we really want? We already know what we want. Messages, downloads, information that is opening up the path, our path. Knight of Cups, a loving energy, a loving individual. So love is also in the air, mm -hmm. self-love, but not only, not only page of cups. Yes, new people, new soulmates are entering our world. Nine of cups, our wishes, our desires. are slowly, slowly manifesting, as I saw the Knight of Pentacles in the beginning of this reading, which is the slowest night in the deck, but the only night that will get to the finish line. Patience, patience, I don't like that word, but it's necessary and important. Patience, hangman, okay? Hangman is the energy of stillness, of things not moving. At least we perceive it as, as, as this. Okay, but the reality in, the, in reality, things are always moving. It's like the clock. You cannot stop the wheel of fortune. You cannot uh, uh, stop the clock ticking. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit Virgo energy, isolation, solitude. Mm -hmm. Again, we have this silence, this stillness. Okay, but in the in silence and in stillness is where we can truly hear, hear our heart, our thoughts. Okay, nothing is distracting us. Where we are, when we are in the hermit energy, in the hangman energy, nothing is distracting us. First, first card is the fool. A new adventure, a new cycle, a new adventure. The knight of swords. The four of pentacles. Letting go of bitterness of negative thinking, negative patterns, temperance. Again, we have patience here with, tem with temperance. Moderation, patience. What needs to go will go to make room and space for what is meant to come. Okay. Easier said than done. 
But look, Ten of Cups, this is the outcome. Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords moving forward, letting go of old baggage, saying goodbye to whatever is holding us back, whatever is bounding us to that past version of us. And this is where Mercury retrograde will help us. Yes, Mercury retrograde will help us to say goodbye to, to, those, to, the, to, to those people or person or mindsets or patterns. Yes, this is a significant time, very much so. So let's start clarifying. This is going to be sweet and short as I'm leaving, I'm going. So I'm also saying goodbye with this reading, but not for long. I will be back in September. Oh yes. So clarifying the fool. With the king of wands, the king of action, Leo energy, fiery energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Mm? You were born a leader. You are the leader of your life. You are the manifester. You are the director. Yes? Viewing yourself as a leader will inspire others to do that, to do that to their own life, to see themselves as a leader. Yes, as a director of their life. So you are an inspiration. You inspire others or someone here with the lovers. Oops. No one can stop the King of Wands. Mm -hmm. No one will stop the King of Wands to share his light, to share his wisdom. Come on. The Hanging Man. So, <laughs> it's time to rise up. It's time to stand up. We have been in this energy for quite some time, okay? And it has been very, it has been frustrating. It is frustrating. In some cases, we also feel, when we are in this energy of the hangman, we feel like, like we have failed. Like we have lost. We see victory and success far away. Sometimes when we are in this hangman position, we regret, we regret our choices. But there has been no wrong choices, no. We all know that everything happens for a reason. Even the choices that we make are destined to make, even though maybe they seem wrong or... No, because, because of these choices, you are the person that you are today. Because of these choices, you know what you want, what you really want, what you really need, who you truly are. So there's no need to regret. There's no need to regret, but it is the time now to stand up. 
and show yourself. Show yourself first. And acknowledge what you are capable of. There is a time when tapping ourselves on the back is important and necessary. And now is the time for you to do that. As I said, to acknowledge your worth, your value, what you have achieved, and keep moving forward. So, it is a time for us to rise up to stand up, to rise up. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's time for us to speak up. Yes. It's time for the throat chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the crown chakra to expand, to open, and not to fear. We don't need to fear to be our authentic true self, to express ourselves through our words, through our actions. This is our life. This is our life. And we are meant to have the leading role in our life, in our movie. Yes? King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. A lot of us have already planted our seeds in fertile ground. But not all seeds will blossom, will sprout. No. And we should not curse those seeds that will not sprout because they were not meant to. Okay? We are guided and protected. And now we are aware of that. We are aware. Or at least we're, we're getting there to that awareness. Okay? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a determined knight. A bit aggressive. Determined, but a bit aggressive. Let's see. Nine of Cups. So, in this case, I do see determination. Of getting what you deserve. It is your birthright, I hear. It is your birthright to receive these blessings. Mm -hmm. Yes. The biggest blessings of all is love, is peace, harmony, free from fear and attachment. Yes. Nine of Cups. Fearing that poverty, fearing that we will not have enough, fearing that we're going to lose our home or our job or a friend or a family member or a partner, fear, fear that we're not going to make it, that we're not succeed. Letting go of fear, letting go of that anxiety, that frustration that is pulling us down. There has been no loss. It's also very important to manage our time. Very, very important to manage our time, to spend quality time with ourselves, with our loved ones. I do see and feel a lot of fear-based energy around me. 
everywhere there's fear-based energy like rushing like a rat race like and we miss the point we miss the point we miss that substance that keeps us together that keeps us true to ourselves people don't smile anymore people are not happy because they allow this fear of loss to consume them yes if you smile if you are a happy person and you smile and you're open people wonder what, what's wrong with her is she on something like you know what is going on what 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 what's wrong with her ah she must have a perfect life no everyone in this life everyone on this planet carries a burden but is your perception of that burden how you view that burden if you allow this burden to to put you down yes if you allow this burden to consume you, your past your present most of the burdens that we carry let's be honest most of the the, the burdens that we carry are from the past yes this is why we have the six of swords here reminding us the four of pentacles when we hold on to past disappointments past perceived loss losses i hope i'm saying this correctly i hope i'm using i hope i'm using the right words but i'm just saying what i'm hearing yes and it comes out like <laughs> i don't even filter it six swords six of swords is all about letting go of old baggage so we must we must say goodbye say goodbye yes we are guided to do that with this lion's gate portal mercury being retrograde it all comes up it all comes in front of us it's like okay w one minute why am i doing this to myself yes why sometimes it's our ego it's our ego that is not allowing us to free ourselves is the ego hmm? the the desire of uh, sometimes even revenge or whatever you know um, sometimes hmm blaming blaming everyone else right Ex we, we blame everyone else and everything else except us we're like okay it was their fault okay moving on to the four of pentacles whatever we need to let go it is our choice with the two of swords but it says here final notice two of swords it is our choice of what we hold on to and what we let go of. It is our choice. So again, we have no one here to blame. N no. It is our choice if we will say goodbye or if we will hold on to it and drag ourselves to the finish line. Yes? So, what do you need to let go of? What? What do I need to let go of? Nine of Swords. The mind, the thoughts, the mind is what makes everything more complicated. Because if it was only the heart, then things would be much, much, much easier. The no is the thoughts, the ego, the persona. So, we'll find the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Hello! It is our choice. It is your choice.
the mind needs to change perspective. And sometimes it's very hard to do that on our own, right? It's hard because we cannot face, it's hard for us to face ourselves, to face reality. So it's like we, we fool ourselves. Sometimes we need to, we, 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 we think or feel or think that we need to do something to numb ourselves, to numb our feelings, to numb the thoughts. If you can see closer here, I'm not gonna say much, but the time, is, the clock is here, the time is ticking. There is no turning back. It's only about moving forward. And I'm not gonna, I don't wanna make this like a, oh my goodness, you know? But the truth is, the truth is that as I said, there is no turning back. And we grow old and older. And one thing is for sure, one thing is for sure. One day we are all going to leave our bodies. One day we'll die. Yes, we just don't know when and how. So why waste our precious, beautiful time <laughs> to worry, to fear? Mm, why? Why do we do this to ourselves? The mind. We need to rewire the mind, the thoughts. Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles holds an abundant energy. Mm. Everything is energy. Everything is energy. Are you aware that thoughts create patterns? Our thoughts create patterns. Yes, it's true. If our mindset, if our thoughts are negative, towards ourselves or others, then the patterns that we create that we cannot see with naked eyes are dark. It's like a, hur like a tornado, like a hurricane, like black worms coming in and out of our body, our energy, our energetic field that we all have becomes dull. There's no color. It's gray energy. If our thoughts are positive, I'm getting goosebumps. Yes. <laughs> if our thoughts are positive and bright, then our energetic field is, is like a rainbow. It's full of colors. And the patterns that we create are just amazing. They're beautiful, like mandalas. So imagine what the, 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 the negative thoughts, the negative, the negative patterns, and the negative thinking, what does to your body. Not only to your mind and your soul and your spirit and your energetic field, but also your body. Clarifying temperance. Three of swords. And the king of pentacles. Again. Letting go of sadness of what has not been manifested. Because it was not meant to. You have planted the seeds. Remember what I said earlier? You're seeing here that you are planting seeds. Yes, in fertile ground, but some will not sprout. But others will. So why waste your time crying over spilled milk? Or feeling sorry because something has not manifested or has not manifested yet? Why waste your time being sad i mean it is a feeling that we all you know it's part of life right it's part of life sadness is part of life but we choose for how long we stay in that energy yes we do it's like nature right nature this is very beautiful um hmm? We have grapes, grapes are sweet, strawberries are sweet, 
right? But we also have lemons and onions. You understand what I mean? It's part of life. Sadness is a part of life. But we choose for how long we'll stay in it. Sometimes it just feels comfortable, right? It's, it can become comfortable. This question, why? The question mark. We need answers. Why? Why? Four of wands. Everyone here is happy. Everyone here is one. There's a lot of compassion in this card. A lot of strength and compassion. And oneness. Inside out. This energy will eliminate sadness, fear. It will. This is our inner and outer foundation. And don't, yes, our inner foundation is, yes, I would say it this, okay, so. Our outer vision, our 3D reality is a mirror image of what's going on inside of us. I've said this before. Like attracts like. If you are in this energy, if you are in this energy, don't expect to attract anything good in your life. Sorry, but it's the truth. You will attract more of that. Because it's energy. And energy is contagious. It's contagious? Yeah, we give and we take. We get what? This? We need to forgive ourselves and others. Loss. Five of Cups. Change your perspective. There has been no loss. You just need to change your perspective. Clarifying the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Union. The sun flipped. And the queen of pentacles. Mm. Grateful. Being grateful. The sun. Being grateful. Of what you have and whom you have in your life right now. And there will be. Yes, more will come. More will come. You see, they're happy. They're smiling. Everyone is smiling here. They're happy. Being grateful is, is a big thing. As I said, if you're grateful of what you have and whom you have in your life right now, more beautiful things will come. I promise you that. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. The Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Love. Mm. Yes, it's all about giving and receiving with an open heart. No strings attached. Yes? Okay. Not holding on to certain outcomes that are ego-based. Three of Pentacles. Yes. You are admired. You are loved. Some of you are just not seeing it. You are doing a great job. Yes, you are. Page of Wands. Some of you are wondering, yes. If your work is being acknowledged at your, uh, uh, yes, at your, uh, 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 
in the chikulam, sorry, in the company that you work. Maybe you are a parent, and you're am I, you're wondering, am I doing a good job? Yes, you are, but you need time. You need some time with your family here. You need some time with your loved ones. You you are spending a lot of time here. You're spending a lot of your time. thinking that you you're not good enough that you don't have enough you know maybe worried about the future mm, hoping for more stability safety nothing is stable or safe nothing so again going on with your life having that fear or that anxiety is pointless you're wasting your time. If there is something that you don't like, if there's something, you can change it. It's in your hands. You can change it. There is a way. Seven of Pentacles. There is a way. But it should not be fear-based because it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. If it's fear-based, no. Knight of Cups. Should I stay or should I go? What should I do? There is a battle here going within you. Should I say it or should I not? I want more of my job, of my partner, of, you know. Should I speak up or should I stay silent with these thoughts, worms in my head eating me alive? Okay. Again, it's your choice. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations are very important, not only in our personal life, it's important to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with our boss, with our colleague, with our neighbor, just saying. With, yes, with someone from the community, with our teacher, with our therapist. Sometimes also fear holds us back from having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone. You are stronger than you realize. There is strength here. To face our fears. To face people. To face ourselves. Running away. We cannot run away from ourselves. We cannot. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we cannot run away from ourselves, from our shadows. And I really believe that this Mercury retrograde will push us to face ourselves, to face our shadows, to face our past, and just say goodbye to it. Say goodbye. Star, the star. You see, there's a helping hand here. This could be spirit or someone, a, a, a real person. So this could be a real person or an energy. And it's not bad to help, ask for help if we need help. Mm. Help. Okay. Six of Swords, Six of Swords, tying loose ends, putting an end, again saying goodbye to whatever is holding us back. Mm. 
saying goodbye to whatever is not letting us fully enjoy our life, ourselves, our loved ones. I think I'm going to end it here. I don't want to push myself. I'm not going to do it. So I feel that this is done. Let's see what, what's the advice. Message advice from spirit. Yes? Okay. And again, I really hope this reading helped somehow, some way. To be honest, I didn't want to leave you like that. Because I will be back in September. But I also felt that it was time for me to do a reading. Because I am a Virgo, rising Scorpio. I'm ruled by Mercury. Also, Geminis are ruled by Mercury. <clears throat> so I'm feeling it strong. And I know that a lot of you are. A lot of you, no matter your zodiac sign or rising sign. This Mercury retrograde is for all of us to hear, to feel. Okay, thank you. Horse. Freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Freedom. One more. Let's use this deck. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. The turtle. Okay. I am a determined person with the strength to follow through with what's best for me. I'm strong, healthy, and unwavering in my body, mind, and spirit. I am comfortable and feel at home in my body. My connection with the cycles of the moon and planets is strong. Do you stay, what? Do you stay the course and follow through on a task until completion? Are you able to recognize the value of the, of the cyclical nature of life? Do you feel at home in your skin? Hasten slowly and maintain a steady focus on your goals. Spiritual practice is just that practice. Connect with the cycles of the moon and the planets to embrace the natural aim and flow of living. And this is what I got for you. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.